Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Greybearded Summoner, and welcome back to another Fire Emblem Heroes video. This will not be a summoning video, as I need to try and find some content I can do repeatedly and not spend money. But, I also had a lot of thoughts about the upcoming Special Heroes banner that I wanted to go ahead and express with you, maybe start up a conversation. Regarding the next banner, specifically the next Special Heroes banner, it should be the Regional banner. I'm calling it that for a specific reason. Everyone else seems to want to say it's going to be the Desert banner forever. I don't think so. But, if it is the Desert banner, I wanted to express who I might who we might see who we might see firstly this is only my impression of what we might get i do not work for intelligence systems and my ideas may not necessarily line up with yours i can understand and respect that but don't flame me for what i think might happen this is only my opinion. I have no actual control, and if it, any of these happen to show up on the next banner, it was purely coincidence. And I'll go over which ones I got right when I do my reaction trailer. When I do my reaction to the trailer. So, I, this one's a little bit special, because there's a caveat on this one. But if it is the first, if it is a desert banner, I'm going to go first over what I call the guide characters. The characters that are from the region, like for example, Tharja was from Plasia and she was the, air quotes, guide character. Lind was from Kadeen and she was the quote unquote guide character. Last year with the ninja banner, Saizo is a ninja and it was from Hoshido. He was the quote unquote guide character that said, none of you are worthy to be ninjas, which was hilarious. But, you get the idea. There's very only very rare but few times there is not someone who has the occupation or is from the world where said occupation comes from in the banner. Also, Rinka with the Flame Tribe banner. Fuga with the Wind Tribe banner. Jihark with the first Ninja banner. No, excuse me. Jihark was the second one. But, so on and so forth. So, my idea for who... Firstly, the region is the Nevada Desert. Which would make Hawkeye or and or a grin the guide characters. Now, Hawkeye seems to be the most prevalent, as it would be the perfect position to put a male character due to while it's not completely it's almost proven but not quite their dislike of male characters so giving Hawkeye the guide role and putting him as a Tempest Trial makes perfect sense as far as Igrin she has a possibility of being one of the five star characters possibly in the duo if it's a duo and not a harmonic it would actually be interesting if it was Hawkeye and Igrin because to my knowledge, I mean, Hawkeye's never had an all. Igrin's had a few, but having those two together to where they could have a conversation with each other, father-daughter, of course, I'm going to jump on that. So, who's coming with them? Well, with the trickle-down that they've been doing, there's two possible candidates from Engage. The first being this guy, Fagato. He's from the region of Psalm, which is another desert region, so he'd be familiar, possibly familiar with some of the practices of Nevada. And also, he is a very popular character and is not in Fire Emblem Heroes yet. And he's also officially he's also one of the royals. So his him being an event he is an eventuality, even if he isn't on this banner. Now, hilariously, Heroes also has a habit of going from going from a character that likes something likes a particular climate to someone who d would despise it. And guess who else is in Fire Emblem is not in Fire Emblem Heroes from Engage yet? Hortensia. Again, I see her sharing a similar dialogue as her summer bound sister, 
as it's too hot. What the heck am I doing here? <laughs> and that's, Hortensia seems to be like a pretty solid, could be a solid bet again, along the lines of Fire Emblem Heroes putting characters in situations they're not necessarily familiar or ready for. Next, and the final character I have for this part, again, along the lines of having being able to have dialogue with Igrin would be Louise. No, she's not from the Nevada region, but she has history with Igrin. And I think that two of these being able to have an, another meetup, for lack of a better word, in Special Heroes would be interesting. And it would be something that I don't think it's off Is's plate for her for Louise to be for Louise to be included. Notice I'm taking a really long I'm stating her name specifically because there's another character in here that has a very similar name, but not a similar look. Now, here's where things get interesting, at least as far as I'm concerned. It's no it's not been hidden that people might be getting sick of the desert banner. We've had three of them. So what I think, either this year or next year, the reason why I'm calling it the regional banner is because I think they might change the terrain type of the region they're in. So eventually we're going to run out of deserts. So in my mind, the next logical place, the next logical terrain would be plains. And if we're going to do planes, the first one that comes to my mind in the Fire Emblem franchise are the planes of Sakai. Which would make Lin a guide character. Okay, so let's give this some thought. Firstly, yeah, it, eventually Fire Emblem has a limited number of deserts that I've been able to notice that are actually named regions. Nabata is, I think, one of the last. I could be wrong there, and I'll gladly admit it if I am. But they're going to run out of deserts eventually. This staying a desert banner instead of being changed to a regional one, I don't see happening. Changing it to a plains or another terrain type? That makes sense. Ooh. Side note. Remind me to come. I'm, I need to stick a pin in that one because I just thought of another desert like. I don't know if that would be a desert like region or just a hot region. Just thought of Muspel. Hmm. Well, I'll stick a pin in that and I'll come back to that later. So, okay, we have Lindis as the guide character for a possible plane spanner. Who else? Well. My first thought is, Poor Boy doesn't have an alt, even though both of his other ninja counterparts do. And I would see him fitting in on a planes of a planes of Sakai banner. Kaze. Ninjas ninjas being associated with wind and his name being associated with wind makes him a fair fit for this one. Hilariously. The other characters I have are not perfect fits, but we've seen that armors can be a part of banners that may not necessarily have anything to do with them. So, my next vote, again, keeping with the Engage trickle-down, Louis. Louis and a Sake banner. Does it sound weird? Yeah. But it also fit, it also hits the engage quota, and I could imagine with Louis's habit of observing people wouldn't be that far off from the na nature of hunting things. You need to observe them to be able to find out where they're going to be. So that Louis, I think, would it be an odd fit, but not necessarily completely out of left field. Not so much as the my next. 
pick for the Plains Banner. <clears throat> I will admit, this is completely, totally, and utterly my... I just want her to have another alt because she can. Because she needs it. As unlikely as it is, and this would also, I would also not mind seeing her in the Desert Banner either. But yeah, here's my favoritism showing. Ash. I would love to see Ash in either banner, but if she's going to go somewhere, I can almost see, because we caught her, because firstly, this is kind of just based on what she turns into. Where do cows go to pasture? Ain't in the desert, it's in the plains. So there's that. We caught her in a plains-like region when she was falling out of the sky for reasons I have no idea. Asker kicked her out of the nest. I don't know. <laughs> but when we caught her, it was in a plains-like region. So I was like, okay, I think it was Asker. It was still in Asker, but still. And again, this is my bias, my favoritism showing. I want her to have another alt that isn't just New Year's. New Year's for a beast character was almost guaranteed. I want something else. I either want this or Summer. So don't expect this to be the last time you see this face. Just letting you know now. <laughs> but that's my predictions for... That's some of my predictions. Of course, none of the... I did not have enough to fill... I didn't have enough ideas to fill any banner specifically. I had a few units on both, but I did not have like a Tempest Trial for the Desert, and I didn't have a... Uh, I didn't have... I was missing two characters off the Plains banner. If we were... If I had to throw in a second guess, like who could possibly be the duo... I would love it if it was Lynn and Sue. However, IS isn't fond of pulling that particular trigger. They're, they're more fond of using the established characters, not necessarily the ones that could be. But thank you all for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe if this is content you want to continue seeing me do. And I will gladly continue to provide it for you. It's not much. It's, go it's going to be a lot this week because I have this, the summoning tomorrow, and the reaction more than likely to the trailer on Thursday. So I'm going to have three videos in a row for you this week. But if this is something you want to continue to see, let me know. I'd be happy to provide it my ideas for what possibly could be on the next Special Heroes banner. But thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Please, again, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think any of these are actually going to happen or if I'm just completely off base. But thank you all for watching. And until, until tomorrow and next time, I will see you on the battlefield. Take care, everyone.